requested video today. Someone wants to see the Sunco 788H uh, battery spot welder teardown. Let's get started. There's a little warranty sticker here. Uh, it's in Chinese, so I don't think I'll ever be sending this back to China, so we'll just have to uh, ignore that. There's a couple of screws on top as well. So I'm going to have to pull this knob off. Seems like there's another screw somewhere. No. There we go. There we have it. So we have the large transformer here, which hooks back, which actually which hooks right directly into the front lead. This is yeah, this is coming apart. Gotta be careful. This is coming apart. Gotta be careful there. So those go into the main two contacts at the front here, into the copper contacts. And then this goes back into two main leads coming out. Then we have the two, oh, sorry, this is the pedal interface, I think. So this hooks up into the pedal. So this gives it the, the signal if you hit the pedal down. So two main leads into the front copper. These two uh, wires here going to the pedal. And then you have your fuse back here with your mains coming in here. So mains into the fuse. Fuse gets tripped here. Big ass transformer. This is where your pressure gauge knob things are, so. I was always kind of wondering what this, how this worked, but basically you're just spinning this and it's increasing tension on the spring here for the uh, up and down motion of, of this. So if you want less tension or more tension, it's gonna pull the spring apart. So let's see if we unscrew it all the way. So, yeah, I guess it's increasing tension. It seems to work, but. I'd probably want the least amount of tension as possible. So yeah. Uh, what else do we have here? You take a look on the side view here. So you can see there's the adjustable knob in the top with the spring tension. There's those main power contacts and the pedal contact. There's the main transformer heading back into the fuse and the mains coming in as well from the back. And then on this side, I believe this is more of the uh, power supply side, which doesn't work for me. Uh, I think that was actually my fault. I think I actually blew the uh, power supply feature there. I was trying to go over 30 volts. I wonder if there's a way I can pull the face off. So you know what, let's go ahead and take the front panel off. They're just plastic taps, so it sucks, but what do you really expect here? Okay, is there one screw there or not? I think that's all of them. I think I also need to take these two off at the bottom. Ah, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a pain Okay, there you go. You can see the pressure switch. It's just this little tiny little guy. That's the actual 
switch when you go ahead and solder you move these up and down it just actuates this little switch right here it's really really that's a really cheap friggin switch and uh, you can see how it's mounted there on just two one side is just like a PCB and the other side is just like a piece of metal going back into the contacts I like how you got this uh, transistor just hanging here off this you got this transistor here hanging off this heatsink see that one I mean yeah of course it's gonna be cheap and it is cheap I wish I could take the front off but I don't know why that's not moving actually I don't want to break this well, that's it guys, not much else to, uh, to show you here. And I definitely don't want to pull this front off because I think I see some glue in there. Like some hot glue. There's a pretty large capacitor in there that I can see in the front side of the board. It would be nice to take this off though because I think there's a capacitor that's blown for the power supply. But I can't be sure. And I don't know what's keeping this in place. All right, let's put her back. These are my copper ends going back in. Okay, let's make sure it still works.